While the world focused on trade wars and military conflicts, a far more consequential battle has been raging in quantum physics laboratories around the globe. Nations are pouring hundreds of billions into quantum technology development not for scientific advancement, but for economic warfare. The country that achieves quantum supremacy first won't just lead in technology, they'll control the global economy. This is the story of the $100 trillion quantum war that's reshaping geopolitical power. This is Click Future, where your future is a click away. Subscribe and drop a like if you think quantum computing will determine the next global superpower. Elon Musk's December 2024 acknowledgement that quantum computing is showing real promise came just as intelligence reports revealed the true scale of global quantum investments. China has committed $15 billion to quantum research. The US has allocated over $1.2 billion through the National Quantum Initiative and the EU's quantum flagship represents a 1 billion euro strategic investment. But these public numbers only scratch the surface of a technological arms race that could determine economic dominance for the next century. China's quantum strategy isn't just about scientific achievement, it's about economic warfare. The Chinese government has identified quantum computing as a critical technology for national competitiveness and has structured their entire approach around achieving quantum advantage in key economic sectors. Their $15 billion investment is coordinated through the Chinese Academy of Sciences and involves over 50 research institutions working in unprecedented coordination. The centerpiece of China's strategy is quantum communication networks. They've already deployed the world's largest quantum communication line stretching over 2,000 kilometers from Beijing to Shanghai. This isn't just a technological demonstration. It's the foundation for a quantum internet that could give China unbreakable communication security and unprecedented intelligence capabilities. China's real quantum weapon is their focus on quantum computing for financial markets. Chinese researchers are developing quantum algorithms specifically designed to optimize trading strategies, predict market movements, and identify arbitrage opportunities faster than any classical computer. If successful, this could give China the ability to manipulate global financial markets in ways that are currently impossible to detect or counter. The implications are staggering. Quantum computers could break the cryptographic systems that secure international banking, giving China the ability to access and manipulate financial transactions worldwide. They could also optimize supply chain logistics with such precision that Chinese companies gain insurmountable competitive advantages in global trade. The United States has responded to China's quantum challenge with a combination of government investment and corporate innovation that leverages America's traditional strengths in technology development. The National Quantum Initiative, signed into law in 2018 and expanded in 2024, represents more than just funding. It's a coordinated strategy to maintain American technological leadership. The U.S. strategy relies heavily on corporate innovation through companies like IBM, Google, and Microsoft. IBM's quantum network now includes over 200 members worldwide, creating a quantum ecosystem that extends American influence globally. Google's achievement of quantum supremacy with their Sycamore processor and subsequent Willow breakthrough demonstrates American leadership in quantum hardware development. The U.S. approach includes quantum safe security measures that could neutralize China's quantum advantages. The National Institute of Standards and Technology NIST, has been developing post-quantum cryptography standards specifically designed to resist quantum attacks. This creates a defensive capability that could protect American economic interest even if China achieves quantum supremacy first. The U.S. is also leveraging its alliance network to create a quantum NATO 
of democratic nations sharing quantum research and coordinating quantum security measures. This includes partnerships with the UK, Canada, Australia, and Japan, creating a quantum alliance that could counter Chinese quantum capabilities through collective action. The European Union has taken a different approach to the quantum war, focusing on quantum sovereignty and technological independence. The EU's quantum flagship program, launched in 2018 with a 1 billion euro budget, aims to create a European quantum ecosystem that doesn't depend on American or Chinese technology. Europe's strategy emphasizes quantum communication and quantum sensing applications that could give European companies advantages in precision manufacturing, medical diagnostics, and environmental monitoring. The European Quantum Communication Infrastructure EuroQCI, aims to create a quantum secure communication network across all EU member states by 2027. The European approach also includes strict quantum export controls and technology transfer restrictions designed to prevent quantum technology from being used against European interests. This creates a quantum fortress strategy that protects European quantum innovations while building domestic capabilities. Europe faces significant challenges in the quantum war. European quantum companies often lack the massive funding available to American and Chinese competitors. Brain drain to Silicon Valley and Chinese research institutions threatens European quantum talent. The fragmented nature of European research, despite coordination efforts, creates inefficiencies that unified national programs avoid. Beyond national strategies, multinational corporations are waging their own quantum wars with implications that transcend national boundaries. Google's quantum supremacy achievement wasn't just a scientific breakthrough. It was a demonstration of technological dominance that sent shockwaves through the global tech industry and financial markets. IBM's quantum cloud strategy aims to democratize quantum computing access while maintaining control over the underlying technology. This creates a platform dependency that could give IBM enormous influence over which companies and countries can access quantum capabilities. Microsoft's topological qubit approach, if successful, could create quantum hardware that's fundamentally more stable than competitors' systems. The economic implications of quantum warfare extend far beyond technology companies. Financial institutions are investing billions in quantum safe security systems to protect against quantum attacks. Pharmaceutical companies are racing to develop quantum enhanced drug discovery capabilities. Logistics companies are exploring quantum optimization for supply chain management. The quantum war is creating new forms of economic dependency and vulnerability. Countries and companies that fall behind in quantum development could find themselves at permanent disadvantage in global competition. This creates incentives for aggressive quantum development strategies that prioritize speed over safety or international cooperation. The quantum cooperation scenario involves international agreements to share quantum benefits and prevent quantum warfare. But this seems increasingly unlikely as national competition intensifies. The quantum chaos scenario involves quantum capabilities being used for economic attacks, market manipulation, and financial warfare that destabilizes the global economy. The timeline for these scenarios is compressing rapidly. Quantum advantage in specific applications could emerge within two to three years creating immediate economic advantages for early adopters. Broader quantum capabilities could reshape entire industries within five to seven years. Full quantum supremacy could fundamentally alter global economic relationships within a decade. The quantum economic war represents the most significant technological competition since the space race, but with far higher stakes. 
Unlike the space race, which was primarily about prestige and military capability, the Quantum War is about economic control and technological dominance that could last for generations. The nations and companies that win this race won't just lead in technology, they'll control the global economy. The Quantum War is happening now in laboratories and research facilities around the world. Every quantum breakthrough, every investment decision, and every international partnership is a move in this global chess game. The outcome will determine which countries prosper and which fall behind in the quantum age. What's your prediction for the quantum economic war? Do you think international cooperation is possible or is conflict inevitable? How should your country respond to the quantum challenge? Share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe for more analysis of the geopolitical forces shaping our technological future. This has been Click Future, where your future is a click away. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss our coverage of the quantum war.